What do you call this trick, guys? Uh, getting dizzy. These things are so maneuverable, it's insane. I mean, this yeah. thing turns on a dime. It's the best sport no one's ever seen. It's high impact, it's loud. The contact, the physicality of the game. My favorite part of the game is contact. Right here! Oh, 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 the hell just happened? Wheelchair rugby is regarded as the Paralympics' most dangerous sport. Also known as murder ball, this dynamic action sport is dominated by Team USA every four years. What is wheelchair rugby? It's full contact in chairs played on a basketball court. The object is to take a rugby ball, which is a volleyball for us, from one end of the court to the other, and you have to bounce or pass it every 10 seconds. The unique thing about our sport is body-to-body -body contact is illegal, but chair-to-chair -chair contact is legal and encouraged. Legal and encouraged. Yeah. It is absolutely fantastic to watch. And as exciting as it may be to watch, I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't fully immerse myself. One invite from head coach James Gumbert, and I'm in the hot seat with some of the country's most elite players. Ooh, this is a, this is the throne? Where do I hold the chair? Exactly like that. Like this? When we play wheelchair rugby, we're in different chairs than we would be in an everyday life. They're custom built specifically to the player. What do you call this trick, guys? Uh, getting dizzy. These things are so maneuverable, it's insane. I mean, this yeah. thing turns on a dime. There are offensive chairs which have the big wings on the front. Okay. Uh, and then there are defensive chairs which have a picker on the front. The idea is that I'm not a ball handler, but this is going to be able to get in the way of the ball handler. Got it. Like this. And oh, you, you're trying to hook him. So now I can't push forward because he's picked in there. Oh, damn. James got me, boys! I'm gonna be sitting this one out! Oh, coach! Push! Are they allowed to be? Yes! It's a contact ah! sport. It's a contact sport. The learning curve I found on this is incredibly steep. Now I know why they call it murder ball. Oh my God, this is so confusing, hold on. Watching it and then playing it, I mean, you realize how difficult and how gifted these athletes are. Get around them, get around them, keep working, keep working. Please. 10 seconds, no touch. Oh. Go, go young better. God, man. But wheelchair rugby isn't just a pastime. For some, it's a sport promoting camaraderie and family. And for others, the court is a place to reestablish purpose. For some of these guys and gals, this is a way for them to reclaim who they were before. July 10, 2004, beautiful Wisconsin day, 75 degrees. I'm out on the boat with my buddies, and my buddy accidentally hits the bottom of the river. I fly backwards and break my neck at the C6 and 7 level. Just really random. I was 19 years old, playing college football at the time, and then boom. In one second, I go from 6'5", 260 pounds, to a wheelchair for the rest of my life. When I was 13, I was laying down in the back seat of our family SUV, and we were T-boned. I broke my neck and became a C5'6 quadriplegic. As a uh, combat engineer, we were out doing a patrol, and we had found an IED, and that was the one that blew up on me. Constantly looking for that way to be able to reach back to the past and bring it forward is, is something that we all do, you know, in some ways in our lives. And to be able to have this sport be able to give that opportunity, it's invaluable. In that moment, the first thing that's going through your mind is just survival. I'm not worried about independence. I'm not worried about thriving. I'm not worried about work. I'm just literally worried about staying alive. Then I had to make a decision, like, am I going to be mad the rest of my life or play the blame game, or am I going to do something with my life? Two, three, Jackson! I can see how this sport is so good for giving the athletes here that second chance to, to be an athlete to, and to compete. Having a athletic competition like the Paralympics that we can say, here's this goal that I'm going toward, is really important. It's what got me independent. Being able to put on the red, white, and the blue and represent your country, it's something that I don't take lightly. I look forward to being in Tokyo and play my best and help us bring home a gold medal. I had a lot of success being able to work with some incredible teams and great athletes. We played before over 15,000 in Rio, and it was just insane. That's incredible. And at the very end of the day, something hit me that it wasn't necessarily about winning, but it was really about changing people's lives. It's one of the big reasons why I still do it. One, two, three, black! black.